Okay, so we're on uh, GNOME Shells or GNOME 3 again, and uh, by default you don't have any icons, right? You can't even right click on this sucker. So, some people hated that. Anyways, what we're going to do is enable it again. And uh, make sure you install this one if you don't really have it already. So, let me show you what we need to install here. Just search for dconf and what you want to do is install these dconf tools. So make sure you have that installed if you don't have it already, right? And uh, after that, so in, in the past in GNOME 2 we use it gconf editor. This time it's called the dconf editor, okay? So we're going to use alt f2 for the run command and we're just going to type in dconf dash editor and then run that sucker here. So this is going to be like their uh, default stuff, um, but let's see do for the icons here. So you go to orgs, and then gnome, and then we're going to go to desktop, and then we go to backgrounds, and right here, this part, uh, where it says show desktop icons, I'll use check that. All right now it's not showing anything because it's kind of janky because I'm using the, the PPA thing, but what you want to do is to show, just open a, uh, a your file manager and uh, it should show it now right so that's how that works and now you can do you know right click make a new folder drag and drop whatever you want on your desktop if you want to and that's how that works uh, I, another reason I like this one instead of the gconf editor is they actually have this little you know set to default because sometimes I make some changes and I, I usually don't know what it is or I have to retype it or something this one is pretty cool it's kinda like the compass thing where you just hit it and it goes back to the default. So if I hit this wing here, I'll go back to the default settings. And you can do that for any other stuff, right? So that's uh, dconf editor, and just make sure you install the dconf dash tools. Uh, so that'll be it for this one.